Okay, so it is November 2nd, 2020, and uh, tonight for the first time in about 12 years, I'm going to camp in a tent. It's something that I loved to do when I was younger, and I just got away from it. Uh, tonight's kind of a special night uh, here in the U.S. Tomorrow we have our presidential election, and it's been a very stressful time. Some of you guys know I'm a professor, and we're trying to figure out how to talk to our students about uh, everything that's been happening in the world. And I guess just talking to my friends, it's a really hard time to talk to anybody about anything because we don't trust each other. There's so many different uh, views of how things should be run. And uh, it's really hard to find that respect and talk to each other. It's been very difficult. I've been sick this year, um, had to spend two weeks on quarantine, uh, kind of like camping during that time really realized during that time how kind of ill-prepared I was to quarantine. I tried to do a few days at my cabin, ran out of food, uh, started to run a fever, got scared, uh, had to come home and essentially camp outside my house. And it's just, uh, it's been tough. So one of the things that kind of got me through the quarantine period was I found a YouTuber named Steve Wallace, W-A-L-L-I-S, and he's a Canadian guy and he does these great camping videos. And so I decided tonight, I guess on the eve of the election, that I would come out here and I just just got a tent, just got a sleeping bag for the first time, like I said, in over 10 years. I'm gonna try sleeping outside and seeing if that helps, um, if there's something that we can learn from being outdoors. So I'll show you my setup here. So first and most importantly, uh, this is my one of our dogs, Lenka. She's a Norwegian elk hound. She's nine years old and she's never gone camping. So uh, this is gonna be fun. I mean, she's camped at our cabin, but this is our first night tent camping. So I've got some treats for her, got some treats for me, got a couple beers, or as Steve Wallace likes to call them, step two. So we're gonna crack into those pretty soon. Got a flashlight uh, and a bucket in case I need it in the night. My lawn chair, pretty simple setup, and this tent. So I got this tent, it's a Marmot Crane Creek. It was under $200. I always thought you had to have a really expensive tent to go camping, uh, but you know what? This is, this is pretty good. And inside, I got myself a sleeping bag. Again, you can spend a lot if you want one that folds out really tight for backpacking um, but I'm mostly going to be car camping um, backyard camping so I got this Celsius XL and it says it's good to negative 25 so it's not going to get nearly that cold tonight uh, but we're just trying kind of a simple setup and we're just out in the backyard uh, next to my pond over here and you can see farms in the distance so we're going to set this up and see how it goes it's so one of my favorite things about camping is having a campfire so let's get that started then we'll that's step one i guess then we'll go on to step two there is nothing like a good campfire i came out set this up in a kind of a log cabin format before and got some newspaper in there it's rolling good little wind tonight okay I got the fire going softly in the background smoke is chasing me around a little bit but uh, set up my tent earlier today and got the fire going which is step one and then one of the things I love about Steve Wallace's YouTube is that when he gets set up it's time for step two which is a cold beer uh, today I've got a new Belgium triple, Belgian style ale. It's really good. Uh, I have some philosophical thoughts I might talk about as I sit out here and a little beer is always good for that. So we're gonna move on to step two. Cheers to all you guys and special shout out to Steve Wallace for a great channel.
I'm about halfway through my first beer and I, I thought I'd been sitting here about 10 minutes and I looked at my watch and it had been about 40 minutes. I guess that's just how relaxing the outdoors can be. Uh, it, it's been a pretty unusual year, you know, the way that I really like to unwind is to go trout fishing. And I live in East Central Iowa near Iowa City. And so that means driving to the streams. And when the pandemic first started and, you know, the word was that we should stay home, not travel. Uh, I, I did that, you know, I did some hyper local fishing. I got some permission to fish some of the little creeks around here and, and it was fun. Uh, and then as, you know, restrictions loosened, um, I was able to get up to Spring Branch and some other places, but you know, it's really not the same because one of the things that makes trout fishing in Iowa so much fun is just the gang of guys that you go with. Um, you know, the people you meet on the stream and the people you see on the stream that you know, and you stop and have a beer, maybe share some snacks. And it's been harder this year. Um, you know, we don't want to get people sick. Here's something that's kind of neat. I didn't plan this, but it's a, it's a full moon night or thereabouts. So I've really got a nice moon. I've got my little set up there. I've got the fire. Uh, my dog Lenka is running around somewhere. You can see we've got some neighbor's houses over there and we've got the pond out here. We'll go take a closer look at that. It's about quarter after nine and just had a little excitement here as an animal ran through the yard and Lenka took off after it. Uh, so I was not able to tell what kind of animal it was. Took off pretty quick into the neighbor's shed and then beyond. Well, I'm thinking it was probably a rabbit because we have a lot of rabbits around. There's also a white cat with an orange tail. That <laughs> comes around quite a bit. I catch them on my game cameras. So a little bit of excitement. Uh, just built the fire up a little bit more, so that'll be nice. And this full moon just continues to rise and it's very, very pretty. Okay, so finished my beer, went into the tent to check out how things were, found out a couple scientific things. So one of them is that the Belgian Triple is a very strong beer, eight and a half percent. Uh, so I consumed that while sitting down then I got up and <laughs> I was a little bit woozy. So I'm going to drink some water for a while. Next, I went in and I had from years ago when I used to tent camp, I have a couple inflatable Thermarest mattresses and they were flat. Uh, they didn't spring a leak or anything. It's just that I blew them up at about 60 degrees uh, earlier today. And it's Right now it's 44, so Boyle's Law, obviously, I had to blow those up again. Um, it's a really nice night out here so far, um, out by the pond, haven't really had any wildlife noises. can hear a lot of corn dryers right now, it's rural Iowa, harvest has come in. Uh, I can hear and see some of the big trucks going by on the highway, uh, I can hear the noise of some of the equipment at the factory. A few miles away. Sound really, really travels at night. Um, curious if there are going to be any kind of night birds or anything. Uh, two years ago, I went uh, camping with my cousins at their cabin in northern Wisconsin. We stayed up way too late drinking beers. I wanted to get to bed about midnight. Those guys ended up playing cards till about three in the morning. And they finally finished up and I was just getting to sleep. And then I heard a noise I never heard before, kind of a woof -hoo, woof -hoo, woof -hoo. and it went on all night and it kept me up until dawn when my cousins woke up and we all went fishing. Found out that was a whippoorwill. Really hated those things ever since. Saw one out here uh, earlier in the summer. Not real happy about that. I'm sure they're, they have their ecological niche, but boy, those things are loud. So, well, it's just a really, really nice night out here. It's a little past 10.30, been reading, just kind of looking around. Uh, Lenka has been running around and investigating things. Our geese are over here by the pond, just making their little night noises as they settle in for the night. Probably the best guard dogs in the world are our geese, so I feel pretty safe out here. It's uh, 
just really awesome. This is, uh, I didn't know how much fun I'd have camping in my backyard, but honestly, this is great. My blood pressure has just gone way, way down. So we've got a couple pieces of firewood left. We're gonna probably let that burn and then uh, hunker down for the night, as Steve Wallace would say. So camping with Andy.